Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Noor Networks. In this tutorial, we will be seeing after the configuration of Ingenious Wireless LAN controller. And for doing this, we will be taking a AWS 5912 wireless LAN controller. Just add a note that in the entire tutorial, whenever I will say AP, it stands for access point, WLC stands for wireless LAN controller. So the tutorial is divided into two different parts. In the part one, that is in this part, we will be looking after the overview of Ingenious Wireless Controller. And thereafter, we will see how the AP registration takes place with WLC. In the next part, we will be seeing the configuration of Ingenious Wireless Controller, management of wireless access point through your wireless controller and the complete administration. Guys, this is how your Ingenious WLC looks like. This model is AWS 5912. Discussing about the specification, uh, this particular model has 8 ports, Giga Ethernet port, that is a PoE ports. Along with that, it has 1 GB SFP ports, 2 numbers. The total power budget is 130 watts and it includes the box includes the mounting kits you can mount this in the rack it has a beautiful features when you talk about the features of wlc from engineers it has 24 gbps switching capacity dual speed sfp slots it has a 256 ram which is capable of handling around 50 access points it has advanced vlan and kiosk features due to this features it eliminates the network bottlenecks when you purchase this model along with it you get a complimentary or you can say a license free management tool easy master which helps you to monitor your network from anywhere anytime on any device now coming to the registration part let's understand how a access point is connected to a wireless LAN controller so guys, for this, the AP registration to a WLC is a two-phase process, the discovery phase and the join phase. There are several steps AP will go through in order to register with a WLC. As you can see over here, step number one, AP begins with a WLC discovery and join phase. AP sends CAP Web discovery request messages to WLC. CAP Web stands for Control and Provisioning of Wireless Access Point Protocol and CAP Web is a networking protocol that enables a central wireless controller to manage a group of wireless access points. In the step number two, any WLC receiving a CAP Web discovery request responds with a CAP Web discovery response message. Then in the step number 3, from the CAP Web response received from wireless LAN controllers, AP select a WLC to join. And finally in the step number 4, AP sends a CAP Web join request to the WLC expecting CAP Web join response. So finally, WLC validates the AP and then sends CAP Web join response to AP. The AP validates the WLC to complete the discovery and join process. The validation on both the access point and WLC is a mutual authentication mechanism. An encryption key derivation process occurs subsequently and that ensures future CAP web control messages are encrypted. So this is how guys uh, AP registration take place with WLC. So guys this was all about the overview and understanding how the access point is connected to your wireless LAN controller. In the coming to, uh, part, that is a part 2 of this tutorial, we will look after the configuration of Ingenious wireless controller. We will be look, seeing like how you can manage your wireless access points through a wireless controller. And before we conclude, we will be completing the entire administration part. 
so that's all guys in this tutorial thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please subscribe it now and do share it with your friends see you in the next tutorial